Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Penny. Today I'm going to be talking about the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte with an SPF of 40. It's a poreless finish, full coverage cream, hydrating and anti-aging concealer. So um, this one is in the shade Rich Honey. What really caught my attention about this is because I have a combination type of skin and uh, I, I tend to be oily around the T-zone. And um, this one says here that it's a um, poreless finish. So I wanted to see how it acts on my pores and the kind of finish it's going to give me. Comparing the original CC cream plus the oil free matte, I feel like the two shades look very different from each other. This one really suits my skin and lo it looks so good, but I'm really curious about this one well the thing about cc creams it's is that it can be used um when you want a quick look a natural look and uh, you don't have to wear a concealer with this you can but you don't have to and also you don't have to use a primer and for me um I've not been using the primer with the other one and I've gotten good results. I've just done my usual routine like cleansing, uh, putting on my serum and moisturizer and all that. I'm gonna be using a brush. So they say you use one to two pumps, but I prefer starting lightly because you can see the product that I'm getting with only one pump. That's quite a lot. So let's see. I'm just gonna spread it around because um, a lot of product came on the brush. And I'm just gonna spread it all over my face. Well, they say it's a color correcting cream that's why they call it the CC cream so um, let's hope it's gonna do the job of concealing So that was one pump. <laughs> like you can see, this is really quite full coverage. One application one pump and you see what job it has already done and now I need to go over the my forehead I'm just gonna take a little bit more but this time I'll just try to take a little bit without overdoing it Well, the cream feels quite heavy on the skin. That's for sure what I can say. It feels quite heavy. It feels quite thick. And um, the application feels so easy with it.
Look at that. Just see, I haven't used any concealer under the eyes and this is already doing the job for me. I usually have a little bit of dark circles under the eyes and I feel like uh, it, de it definitely didn't take everything away but it's uh, put some coverage on there. Without looking cakey at all. And it feels uh, quite lightweight on the eye area because you don't want to go heavy with the product here so uh, when you're starting it's good to like start downwards as you go upwards so because if you start here and all the product ends under the eyes then you might experience the fine lines which will end up making your eyes looking creasy or might make you look cakey and all that I feel like it's already blending so well with my skin like effortlessly and the finish is quite matte the skin looks well hydrated it doesn't look matte and dry Make sure you're blending so well so as to avoid uh, discolorations. You want so as to encourage like uniformity on the face. I don't know, but I'm really satisfied with the look. I really like this. <laughs> this looks amazing. This looks really good and um, this I think I can wear it in the summertime one advice I can give you guys is that remember an SPF is not supposed to once you apply in the morning you have to remember to reapply every two hours and so because this is not gonna help you the whole day um, especially on a very sunny day in the summer times and all that so um, and this is so easy you can have in your handbag and just go over it reapply and uh, you'll just look perfect and you, you don't need so much actually and you just have the best amazing look I'm really satisfied with the look and um, I'm, I just can't wait to use this in the summer applying you can go over with a little bit of blush on the cheek like this is this is like on the go kind of makeup I'm gonna be using these rare beauty uh, blush it's in the shade grateful I'm just gonna apply a few it's quite pigmented so I'm just gonna go with the uh, two dots to begin with The good thing about liquid blushes is that you can build up on the intensity of the color that you want to achieve. Something about this Rare Beauty blush is that you can also use it as a lip stain.
look at that who would tell that this is a blush that means you also don't need a lot of products to get a desired look this is effortless this is effortless guys and you don't need a powder on top of it just forget about that if you're looking for that healthy glow and natural look and all that don't go putting powders on that it will just add more cakiness to it and dryness to your skin so with this i prefer just leaving it at that i am so satisfied with this like just just look at this Thank you so much for sticking around and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye.